Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and you already know what to do, boos. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do a reading for you guys just for energy update, and I'll also touch bases a little bit on the 1212 portal um, just to see, you know, what's good for us all. I am Virgo Sun, and however, I feel like it's some really good things coming to fruition, especially I feel like um, we're getting some answers here to maybe some prayers we may have prayed about or we're getting something is coming to a conclusion. Okay, it's, it just feels like whatever it is that you have been going through, asking about, you're getting ready to get some answers. Let's just put it that way. Okay, y'all. Now, you already know how this go. Flip the rolls. Take only what you need. Leave the rest. And please use the spirit of discernment. Do not force anything to fit. These are collective messages. If you want a personal reading, I do encourage you to um, look in the detail box below this video. You will see my website, you guys. Okay, so remember, I will never reach out to any of you asking, can I read your energy? Okay, so there, there's a lot of pages out here that are duplicating my original page. It's not me. I have not created any new pages and I don't intend on doing it. Okay. Um, hopefully, you know, God willing. Right. But however, if I do create new pages, I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, the thanks button if you're feeling generous and the subscribe button if you're feeling my vibe. Thank you to everyone who has been supporting me. Um, on my journey, who has donated to, to my channel through PayPal, Cash App, my thanks, but look, the thanks button as well. Um, I don't do a lot of live readings. I'll I be wanting to, but then at the same time, I don't know what it is about the live readings, but I'm definitely going to try to navigate and shift into doing some stuff here live, especially within um, the members group. Okay. Now, it was something else I wanted to say to y'all before I got started, but I can't remember. Hmm, it totally slipped my mind, but maybe it'll come back to me, you know, while I'm reading. But however, y'all, um, I definitely appreciate everyone who has been sending me donations. Okay. Um, I see you. I recognize you. And I thank you for recognizing me. I definitely appreciate it. Y'all guys make this journey even sweeter. All right. So let's dive right on in. Now I'm going to set my intentions and then we'll get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides, for helping me with Virgo's reading. Protect us as we go through the portals. I ask that you close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as the messenger, speaking through me loud and clearly. Thank you that my true gods are here with me to deliver this message for Virgo. The energy update for them and give us the energy on the 1212 portal. So what's going on with the 1212 portal? Don't forget your... Your intuition is your best friend. Please use discernment as you are viewing and flip your roles as you see fit. Whoop. Nothing will come of this situation. We're going to see what that's about. A new start is coming. Believe in the impossible. Like, where is that coming from? And confidence is your key to success. See something here. Oh, I'll be forgetting sometimes I got a, a second phone, y'all. All right, put that on vibrate. Nothing will come of this situation. And I'll pull terror on that. A new start is coming. 414 on my timer. Believe in the impossible and confidence is your key to success. Okay, so of course, let's start with this. Nothing will come of this situation. Here we go. So it says in the form of astrology known as, uh, we're going to just bypass that whole word. Okay, but it says here, <laughs> according to when the question is asked, okay, um, and decoded, a void of course moon means nothing will come of this matter or the situation will bear no fruit. This may or may not be good news, depending on what you're asking. 
For example, if you're worried about something, whatever it was, this card be can be taken as a sign that there is nothing to worry about. However, if you're asking about a new project of any kind, including a new relationship, it is a sign to adjust your expectations or change things so you get a different outcome. Remember, the card can only predict what you are currently creating, and you can change that with uh, both your behavior and beliefs. So trust in your highest good, okay? So let me um, pull tarot and see what that's about. And y'all already know, right? So you want to surrender to the divine, most definitely. But you know that's how tarot is. It works like the law of attraction for real. It's like you attract whatever the energy is to you. Or if you shift your energy, then guess what? The reading changes, okay? Um, so you need to keep that in mind as well. Because I, like I said, I, I have noticed, you know, sometimes it feels like tarot can give us that false hope. But a lot of times it's because the energy shifts because of something may have shifted within us or within the people we are questioning, right? Or asking questions about, okay? Um, people have free will, okay? So, however, whatever energy you are creating for yourself now, this is where it's at. Tell me about the nothing will come of this situation. Ooh. Come on through. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to switch out the deck. One second. My hands feel so cold, y'all. Queen of emotions. So it was in a reverse position, though. So that's like the queen of cups, okay? And the queen of cups can be quite, you know, codependent, doesn't really listen to you. Uh, their intuition okay so let's see what's up to be overly emotional <clears throat> so if you are acting in that manner then the energy definitely will not shift okay or well, this could be somebody else's energy um six of materials which is like the six of pentacles comes in a reverse position so how i'm seeing that is that you know it's got to be an equal give and take okay if it's not then it's an unfair power dynamics, okay? So, again, nothing will come of the situation if things stay the same, right? Or your inspiration comes out, okay? Yeah, you got to move forward. If you want progress, it's going to require you to take those steps and go for it. But if you want things to stay the same, then stay the same, <laughs> right? Look, Spirit said that's it. <laughs> I don't even got to say nothing else. That was the message for that. So let me pick up my cards because I want to still use them. But you get the gist of it, right? Once you do that and you make the necessary changes and you work on whatever it is that um, may be keeping you stuck, okay, whatever negative emotion you could be holding on to, just face your mirror, all right? Face your mirror, evolve, um, elevate higher here, and guess what? You get a new start, okay? Okay. Um, with this new moon card. I may have to look it up. Okay, so basically with the new moon card, it says there is a yes coming your way. This is one of the most auspicious cards in a deck. It's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing. The situation you're asking about is blessed and you're on target to achieve your goals. The message from the universe is that you're starting all over again in some way. Be that on a new or better course or just feeling more positive about achieving your desired outcome. If, you're, if you've been feeling stagnant, this card reminds you that life goes in cycles and you are moving into a new cycle now. This is a time to wipe the slate clean. If the situation you asked about has become toxic, either that will clear up now or something totally new and fresh is on its way, okay? So um, you'll, you will soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want. Your beliefs and your dreams can manifest and it's working well. Just forget about the past, okay? Um, but you definitely have a yes coming your way, especially if you are, you know, 
operating as like a queen of cups in the upright, right? Balancing your emotions, listening to your intuition. Yeah, everything is going to definitely work out for you. But of course, if you are operating in that queen of cups reverse energy, then it'll cause delays, okay? Because divine timing kicks in when we are operating out of our ego state. And again, like I said, if that's not you, it could be somebody connected to you or somebody connected to somebody that's connected to you, right? Y'all know how this energy is. The Queen of Cups reverse usually can represent sometimes in my deck karmic energies, okay? So um, it could be a third party situation that ain't gonna go nowhere, right? Because of the nature of it. But however, let's pull and see what a new start is coming is about. Justice. So wherever the injustice was, whatever was that brought the imbalance here into your life, the universe is now balancing out these scales. Okay. And everything is going to be just and fair for you, especially as long as you have been operating in your integrity. Okay. Now, um, for the most part, what I'm seeing is like, you've been carrying a lot because this kind of reminds me of the Ten of Wands. But let me see something that may not be you would think it would be cups, but I don't think it is. No, nah, that's definitely not a ten of cups. So they got to be like wands. But give me a second. Though. Show me the inspirations. Thank you. Yeah, I was right. Responsibilities and burdens um, taking on too much. OK. So whatever it is that you're taking on. You're getting ready to get justice because what I'm hearing is like it's an unfair power dynamics here um, and you may be carrying the weight of something, too many responsibilities, whatever it may be. Um, yeah, you got to ask for help. If that's the case, right, you got to ask for help. Seek other paths and offer help and guidance, okay, as well as prioritize on top of that. But whatever it could be, it, it could be even in a connection. So, you know, if it's not an equal take, give and take, like I said, then it brings an imbalance and then the situation will bear no fruit, literally. So if that's not what's being given, yeah, then you got to move forward, right? So that you can see that progress so that you can get to your Ten of Pentacles. But what I'm seeing here is like, as you are moving in alignment, this 1212 portal can definitely bring in for you your Ten of Pentacles. That's your legacy, okay? That's long-term goals being accomplished, um, your wealth, retirement, marriage, love, whatever it is, okay? Um, you can actually really see that coming. And I do feel like for a lot of the collective, you guys are definitely in alignment. At least 90% of my collective are um, walking into this new beginning here. Four of Voices comes out, okay? So literally just take that time, right? And um, hmm, take that time and just recover, relax, rest, rejuvenate. Okay, you're right here. You're at the you're at the peak. Is how I'm hearing it. You're at the peak. You're right there. So all you got to do right now is just chill out. Okay, chillax. Go and take yourself a nice sea salt bath. Okay, put some rose petals inside of it. <laughs> you know, light your candles. However, right chill out okay yep six of materials here in the reverse because you've been given too much of yourself all right so it's time to bring balance into your life it's time for you to receive tell me about believing the impossible because what i'm hearing is that what's getting ready to happen happens once in the blue moon for you And the card actually is called Blue Moon. Okay, so let's see. Usually I can flip through these things and it'd be like, boom, right there. Now I'm like flipping like no tomorrow. Let's see. As the saying goes, something, some things happen only once in a blue moon. In other words, hardly ever. Drawing this card suggests you're about to get a rare chance, and that's something one-off could well be about to happen. This card is a very positive sign. If you felt like you're hoping for too much or asking for too much of the universe, whatever you're asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. However, this rare opportunity before you, it's important that you believe in it. If you're convinced, if you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about, 
can never go in your favor, then guess what? It won't go in your favor. Be grateful for the card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams, okay? Sorry, y'all. Y'all know when I start talking, I get all this A in my chest. They start making me burp. But it says, um, if you miss this chance, it might not come back again, okay? Not anytime soon, at least. What happened may only happen once. This person you're inquir inquiring about is a rare find. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. This situation is unlikely to repeat, okay? Now, um, let's see what the Muse Tarot has to say. Tell me about the belief in the impossible. Three of voices. Muse of inspiration. Stay inspired, those, okay? Spirit team may not feel like you need to get this information all the way like that because, of course, you got to allow um, for there to be surprises, right? This is what the, where the miracles and the blessings and stuff coming in, start coming in. We be wanting to know too dang on much, okay? The messages are really supposed to help you to get moving and inspired. Um. I got the right book? Yeah, Three of Voices. So with the Three of Voices, this card, yeah, the door is, look, where one door closes, another one opens. That's just how it is when I look at this card. So whatever it is that has you feeling a little bit here in despair or heartbroken, you got to believe. Some of you may feel empty or something. It's some type of pain. You could be having some type of se separation, painful separation, heartbreak, sorrow, loss, disappointment, endings. You know, just this is a time. That's what it and it goes back to nothing will come out of the situation. If you know, if you're falling as the Queen of Cups in the reverse position, then this is the time to understand what needs to be healed. So this is the time that you take right now. To rest and rejuvenate. This 1212 portal is here till the 21st of December. Okay. And finally understand what is going on with you. And, th and I'm hearing, you know, like this 1212 portal will help you to understand that and help you to release what no longer serves you. It makes it a little bit easier for you to be able to do that. Okay. So stay inspired most definitely with this muse of inspiration because you still got, you still got, uh, I ain't gonna say a ways to go, but your journey is long. You understand? And that's not a bad thing. It's like you still got stuff to do with how I'm hearing it. Okay. Um, this isn't the end. Muse of inspiration. I know it may feel like it, but mm -mm, you got work to do. You got humanity to help, right? <laughs> Legacies to actually build inspirational success an inspired leader a visionary thinking big things like that okay so expect to be initiated in ways you cannot yet imagine you gotta believe in this fully captivated by ideas and propelled by enthusiastic ambition the muse offers fire to brand the edges of your experience embracing excitement to ignite the wisdom in your heart she asks you to enlist the help of others along the way and she shares her power to turn the ash that wish has been anchoring you remember that your warm cocoon of confidence and determination will light up your heart with belief and inspiration. It will sing into being a phoenix energy that will allow you to rise from the depths of anything. Wow. Anything that has been put in your path with butterfly heart flutters and breath to deliver life. It's time to set your world aglow. Vision and accum will be your guides. It's time to find purposeful success and take inspired action as you fall in love with your goals. Okay, so you hear it, right? Believe it. Because this only comes around once in a blue moon. Your confidence is going to be key. This is how you're going to be able to manifest um, this stuff into fruition, right? And help the universe as well, right? To help these planets to work in your favor. Look at that queen of voices. I want to know what the heck voices are. I, I'm telling you. I, I Look, I picked a fine fun time i think i knew at one time but i just don't remember my memory hasn't really been the best y'all i've been really trying to work on getting it together let's see and uh, i thought it was going to show me in the front of the book real quick like yeah voices are like these well let me see but once i learned then that then that will help me 
So I'm thinking voices are like swords then because it says a truth speaker, an honest and astute leader. So that reminds me of the queen of swords. The queen of swords has the ability to cut through the bullshit. Okay. It has the ability to communicate clear and, and very um, assertive, right? Can be kind of guarded most definitely. But with that queen of um, voices, that's what they're telling you. You need to have the confidence of the queen, okay, of voices or the queen of swords. It says from the east, a wind picks up and she feels the rustle in her hair as her senses come alive. Her magic is a little more tangible than some of the other queens. And for her proof seeking perception, she is grateful. She unfolds her wings of wisdom and knowledge and stretches looking out over her domain. She is the queen of voices and she speaks with intensity. So very direct and it cuts right through to the heart of the matter. Her words, like those of the ancient soothsayers, are clever and rife with profound insight. And there, in the wake of a million fluttering clouds, she always seeks the path rooted in truth, integrity, honesty, and gentle knowing. She reminds you to be strategic and direct, to dispel clouded judgment, and to send tiny gusts of helping winds to those in need. Speak what is right with great compassion and honesty, and communicate your truth courageously. Okay, so mm, be the queen of swords right now, okay? Because your confidence is key. This is what's going to bring this stuff into <laughs> Ace of Emotions, right? That's like the Ace of Cups to me. This stuff is going to bring in what you desire. Some of you are looking for a new relationship. Some of you are looking for reignited passion in an existing relationship. Some of you are just looking for excitement, new feelings, being energized, right? your confidence here and believing in what it is that you desire for yourself okay is what's going to help you at this time all right so hey you got to connect both it's like you got to use your logic and your intuition right and your heart needs to be open in order to be able to receive to this capacity okay so so it's a, it's a time, right? Like I said, if you're operating as a queen of cups reverse, it's a time to connect with any repressed emotions, healing any unblocked, um, any blockages, right? Anything that's blocking your creativity, it's time for you to work on healing. If you don't, nothing will come of your situation. It won't change. It will stay the same, okay? And that's even with the help, look, 2221 on my timer, with the help of this 1212 portal, okay? So... Y'all, y'all hear what that is about. Let me just pull real quick and just see what y'all energy looking like here. Yen and yang comes out. Okay. So this is like that passive active energy. All right. You listening to your intuition here. Life goes in cycles, y'all. The um, broken heart card comes out. Okay. So. It's a lot of external factors, of course, or circumstances that um, right now that could be forcing you to go within, right? So you need to examine them so that you can complete this cycle. So you hear everything that came out with the 1212 portal information, right? And then you take action, okay? You apply pressure at this point because you're looking for this fresh new start, this new beginning to take place. But it can't happen with a broken heart. It has to happen with a healed heart. Because remember I was saying, boom. Your heart has to be open, okay, in order for you to manifest. Love is the highest vibration of all, right? So, yep. I don't got to keep repeating it, but I know you guys know what I'm what I'm speaking on, right? So apply pressure if you still are dealing with this unhealed version of yourself. Queen of Cups, again, in the reverse, the woman holding a heart, same thing, okay? So somebody in the collective is definitely vibing low. Third chakra reverse. Okay, so, I mean, and, and you don't, it takes time, it does, because we're always constantly healing. Healing is always happening, okay, for us. It's not something that you're going to be healed and you're working on something, like, say, like, you're working on your healing for, like, I've been doing this for three, four years, right? I'm good. Yeah, you could be, okay, but it could be something that could come up that may trigger you, but the only difference is, is that if you're triggered, you know how to handle that trigger to bring yourself back into alignment. So if you're triggered and you're still staying in that stuck energy for a long period of time, then you got to still continue to do the steps necessary to bring yourself back into alignment, to ground yourself. OK, so as long as we're taking steps and, and, and we're working, guess what? We're ascending constantly. We're aligning with our higher self and with the universe in order to be able to bring in our wish fulfillments, right? For our prayers to actually be answered. Okay. So I'm not going to keep 
you know, lecturing you guys about it because I know you guys got this, right? Um, for the most part, but just, you know, in case for my collective, that's a little still trying to work through some things. Earth angels, all right? So the biggest thing for us as earth angels, as light workers, is love. We have the funkiest love stories. Why? Because we're here to teach about love, okay? We're here to teach about self-love, most definitely. Love of self and love of others. But first, we have to go through the process of learning how to love ourselves before we can begin to teach others about it or even begin to invite that type of love into our life, right? So you got to have that true, unconditional love for you first, okay? I think I spoke about this yesterday where um, I said, yeah, you may be praying for God to change somebody in your life, but hey, God's going to start working on you first, okay? Before anything takes place. Here, the, the Archangel Rifle, I mean, Raphael, okay? The healing has to take place. So the healing angel is with you, supporting you, okay, in your healing efforts and also in your healing work, okay? I'm a healer. Look, earth angel comes out. That's just what it is, Virgo. Straight light workers. I'm the lighthouse for light workers, okay? I'm, I, I have healing that I, I'm working on. I have healing that I still, you know, need to do within my own self. I can only teach about this to you guys. Um, because I go through it too as well. So I have that firsthand experience of what's going on with y'all because I know, right? Because I feel it too. I'm constantly, you know, a work in progress. And it's like each time I experience sometimes certain things that are different where I think I may have worked through those issues and boom, boom. Okay, all right, I'm facing it again. <laughs> okay, I thought I had it. But it gets easier for me to overcome it when it comes to to. I guess when it, when I'm facing it right directly, you know, it, it comes to me a little bit easier to get through it. I had um, a friend that, well, actually it was my twin sister. She pulled some cards for me and she was saying, she was like, hmm, it seems like something going on with your heart chakra. And I'm like, hmm, she's like, you be a little guarded. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do, right? And she put me on blast about some things, which I was like, I know, I know I can kind of sense that, right? But ever since, um, you know, she brought it to the light for me to really face it, then I'm, I'm working on it. It's like I'm learning to be more open. I'm learning to try to relax just a bit and, and not to be as guarded, but to still have healthy boundaries, to still assert myself, you know, things like that, okay? It's a lot that we have to learn on this journey. And as light workers, we go through these spiritual training. We go through spiritual training, okay? Straight like that. And in order for us to be able to get to that point where we're actually out there being the higher fonts in, our, in, in the world, right? And being the queen of cups, uh, right, right? And tapping into our higher selves as the high priestesses around here, right? <laughs> Yo, we got to go through the process. Situations, people got to be cleared out our life. Anything that doesn't serve us, anything that's operating against our purpose and our calling, it can't be there. So this is a time of awakening for a lot of people, y'all. Okay. And, and of course, you if you watch and you still tuned in, you one of them. All right. So learn what you need to learn. Heal what you need to heal. Evolve. Okay. It can't. No, look, I'm here. Don't let nothing stop you light workers. Hold on. Y'all already know I'm going to end with a light worker message because I got a couple of personal readings I want to kind of like drop before I go to bed. <clears throat> Come on, one car is stuck in there. Hold up. My hands are not acting right on. They feel so cramped. Orbs of light. I need to pop some more of my vitamin D and flax C on. All right, so let's see. It is possible to pray without realizing it. The universe is lovingly listening to every thought and feeling in your heart and mind. When you intentionally speak to the universe and ask your higher guidance to help you with an issue, this is a powerful way to call the light into your life. It works. 
often quite rapidly. However, sometimes we ask for help without being so aware of doing so. Worrying about an issue or pondering a question are ways this happens. There are orbs of light around you. There, they are spiritual beings that love you. These orbs contain information and energies that help answer questions and worries through the intelligence of love <clears throat> in love of the higher spiritual worlds. That information might come through a song, a phrase, a feeling, or a color, or symbols that unlock awareness in a deeper recess of your mind and body. Orbs are always around us, but appear in more concentrated form, both in quantity and quality. In certain places and at certain times, including when your energy is in particularly soft and receptive high frequency state, orbs naturally gravitate towards high energy. This doesn't mean you have to be on the go constantly, but higher energy can be created when you are very still by raising your frequency to a higher vibrational state. You can do this by regularly meditating on love and healing. You can place yourself in a state that is most attractive to orbs of light by relaxing, opening your heart and feeling good. Okay. The spiritual worlds are delivering a message to you. You may have already heard it through te um, telepathic reception and mistaken it for your own thoughts. Yet it is inspired by your higher guidance, those spiritual beings that love you without condition. It is an answer to a question and guidance to increase your happiness. So your spirit team is trying to show you how to get your prayers answered by raising your vibration. This is what I've been speaking about forever since I got on YouTube about two, three years ago, y'all. We have to be a vibrational match to what it is that we desire. We have to be a vibrational match to our prayers and intentions. In order for it to manifest in this reality, we have to feel good. We have to be aligned in our chakras. We have to be vibrating on a frequency of love, joy, peace. We have to be in balance. We have to be in balance. Okay, I think I said that right. We have to be a healthy balance, okay, within our own selves. This is alignment. Spirit has been working on trying to get us to a point of wholeness. You like, why we got to go through all this shadow work and do all this other stuff? Eh, because you got big prayers built. And if you're trying to bring these things into this reality, honey, it requires you to be a vibrational match to the universe. You are almost likely to perceive them around you in this state, which can be a fun and beautiful experience. Orbs are often only seen in phot photographs where they appear as soft balls of light. If they are enhanced and magnified, patterns, symbols, and faces can sometimes be seen within them. This is a part of the love and genius of the spiritual world. The way that light can reach the earth in form, helping to raise frequencies from fear to love, being in nature and doing some invocations to unconditional love creates an energy that is very attractive to orbs. So is group work based in love, such as meditating together to clear a sacred space in nature, then dancing and praying together in that space with joyful devotion to love. That this attracts high level guidance, okay, because a group can be a container powerful enough to generate and hold the higher frequencies of love. This can also happen for individuals, but group energy can be a powerful and effective way to attract a great downpour of spiritual grace. Clearing the energy of your home and calling in higher guidance to bless you in your home each day day perhaps with the invocation below will also create a space in which orbs of light can more easily visit you bringing their uplifting energy and healing light to access this information of these orbs of light to be open to seeing them more clearly whether directly with your own energetic vision through clairvoyance or through photographs or other means you can use the invocation below so i'll read the invocation to you slowly so you can repeat it with me tonight and if you want to have access to this invocation, um, you can email me, but I'm thinking I may put it in the detail box below this video. I just have to remember. I'm going to put it in the detail box below the video. Okay, you guys. Um, and then by that way, you have access to it. 
All right. And then, and by the way, I think you can cop. You, you know what? No, because that's just too much. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm torn spirit. What should I do? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'll just, just email me. Okay. Just email me, but no, I'll put it below. Um, I'm hearing to put it below. So that's what it is. All right. So y'all ready? <sighs> I call upon the unconditionally loving orbs of light. Please bring me information, healing, energy, and joy as I open my heart to the loving presence of the higher spiritual world here and now. I ask to see, feel, and know the loving intelligence of the orbs of light in ways that are relaxing, encouraging, joyful, and kind. I ask for the orbs of light to bring peace and blessings to this space, to consecrate it as sacred and to protect it so that only energies of light, love, and higher consciousness may enter. May the unconditionally loving orbs of light bless all those who can benefit from their presence. Through divine love and my own free will, so be it. All right, Virgo. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Peace.